Meantime, a Temple man has been found guilty of murder in the 2015 shooting death of Marlins police chief. That decision coming down just moments ago on the second day of Derek Gamble's trial. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne joins us now. And Imani, the man was facing a tougher charge. Doug and Leslie, the jury began deliberations today at noon after a day and a half of testimony. It only took them about four hours to reach a verdict, and the ruling got a lot of mixed reactions from people in court. Now, if you remember, Gamble is accused of shooting Marlin Police Chief Daryl Allen after the two allegedly got into an argument outside of a Temple Bar in 2015. Gamble was facing a charge of capital murder, murder or not guilty. He received the lesser charge of murder, but due to a prior conviction is now looking at a minimum sentence of 15 to life. Today, both sides used their closing arguments to try and sway the jury for the final time. When the ruling came down, Gamble's family broke down in tears and Gamble turned to them in motion to stop crying. While the victim's family and some officers in the room appeared disappointed with the decision. I spoke with Gamble's family earlier today and here's what they had to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry about to the other family, the situation that occurred but we're gonna support him all the way. It's a message for the youth today to know you have to make the right choices in life. Life is short. The sentencing phase in this case will begin Thursday morning at 9 a.m. For now live in Bell County, Imani Payne, Channel 6 News. All right, Imani, thank you very much.